Uh, immunoglobulin light chain amyloidosis, also known as AL amyloidosis, is a very rare um, protein misfolding disorder. Um, the protein that uh, develops uh, the amyloid deposits that injure the patient's organs uh, comes from a low-grade blood cancer, a low-grade plasma cell disorder. Um, and unfortunately, it's uh, due to its rarity uh, and also due to the severe cardiac manifestations predominantly, um, patients um, often um, present very late in the disease and are at high risk of uh, early mortality. Um, and so we were able to uh, analyze um, a na nationwide database in Sweden um, from 1995 up through 2013 and for the first time in a population study, a population based study, we were able to show um, in fact that survival has improved in AL amyloidosis since 1995 and uh, also that the early mortality improved as well. Um, only 43% of patients were surviving in the first year in 1995, and now 70% of patients are surviving. Um, and most, the most likely reason for that dramatic improvement, uh, in fact, is uh, advances in chemotherapy from the uh, myeloma world. Um, there have been multiple drug approvals uh, in multiple myeloma over the last uh, 15 years, and these drugs have been able to be applied with some modifications uh, in the setting of AL amyloidosis. Um, and um, so that's very encouraging that we see that. Um, the finding of the reduction in the early mortality, um, that is a new finding that needs further investigation. We were not expecting to find that since other single center studies have not shown that. Um, and those single center studies, though, are from referral populations. And so um, the fact that the early mortality improved in the population-based um, setting has us wondering if, in fact, there has been improvement in earlier diagnosis, at least potentially in Sweden.